All right, guys, second match I got for you is going to be between True Light's team, his newest team on top, known as One Punch Man from the anime. And on bomb, we got DW6561's team, which is known as Stream Team. So for True Light, we got Saitama the Monk, Tornado the Mime, uh, Genos, G Genos the Lancer, I think it's Genos, and Silver Fane the Bard. All right. So, the whole point of this team is, well, here's the star of the show. This monk, with martial arts, warpath, salty rage. 13 PA, so he's hoping that PA save can go up and so he can kill everything with one punch. Um, he just won't be able to do that initially. He has to go through training first to do that. <laughs> I mean, you gotta think, the guy who plays a superhero who has to friggin' shave his head ball and then kill everything with just one punch. It's ridiculous, I know. Uh, the mime here, pretty much just like Shintroy's mime, has blackmail stall mimic Derivon. I just want to double check to make sure. No, it does not get stalled for any reason. That is where I'll have to add that in there. I'm not sure why that didn't go through. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. There we go. I'm going to have to uh, do something about that. Uh, that way I want to manually add install again. Um, but good thing I double checked. Uh, but yeah, this is your typical talk scale mime. That does, um, well, disrupt. Pretty much it. Very tanky. Auto potion, move HP up. 9 speed. Protect, protecting against a lot of status effects. Uh, next up, this Lancer, 12-speed Lancer, very fast item bot, very durable as well. Um, also has some jumps in case you need to land some timely jumps. Won't do as much damage, but it can um, do some poke, it's, it can do some chip damage at best. Um, and, and like I said, it is very fast at what it does, so we'll see how this Lancer works out. And finally, this Bard, Magic Defend Up Bard. With Regenerator, fair enough. Battle Songs will increase the PA. The Mime can also mimic the PA as well. Making this Lancer uh, jumps hit harder. And his Monk hit, har hit harder with his Berserk Bare Fist. And then of course he has Cure, Cure 2, Wall, Raise, Asuna. So your typical support setup. Alright, for DW meanwhile, we got DW, the Geomancer. Hey, that's her avatar. Law what? Uh, 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 Nemander, Neman the, the scholar, Synth, the monk, and Gilbert, the ninja. All right, so DW's team has um, is a white ma is a white mage geomancer. Fair enough. Metro tech up pilgrimage. I'm guessing for holy because holy sniping is very powerful. Also has raise as soon as cure two wall. Um, I mean, it is going to run out of MP eventually, but this but this girl also has Geomancy to back her up. Um, and the Scholar over here definitely has Cyclops. Um, I did make a PM to you a while ago that your Scholar was to 150 JP over the cap. So, for the time being, I got rid of Absorb MP, at least until you can come up with something else. Um, but otherwise, it still has Earth Dragon, Bio, Fairy, Carbuncle, Moogle, Cyclops. With Magic Attack up, this guy's going to do a good amount of damage. Uh, he's pretty fast with his 9 speed, I guess. So fast enough. Um, it, uh, you know, this guy just has to be protected, though, because of how low HP this guy's got. And he can probably be one-shotted by this monk, most likely. Most likely. Uh, we have a Earth Slashing Monk with uh, Martial Arts. Very good. And... Does this one have star? Hmm, this one does not as well. Yeah, DW brought this up from before that for some reason star does not go through despite being flagged. So that's an intro that's really, really weird. Uh but this one has everything else, I believe, right? Oops, uh yes, solution, refute, blackmail. as well as stall. Okay. So, talk, so, talk skill and monk, pretty much. Chakra revive. No stigma magic, interestingly enough. Uh, this one also has abandon, so decent evade monk overall. Um, 
you know, Love of Mantles is an interesting choice. Of course, you get high magic evade from it. And finally, this ninja here who uses um, Nijitsu to great effect. 15 PA with attack up. Yeah, this guy's going to hurt. He has Futon, Maton, and Sweeton, as well as Steel Heart and Steel Accessory. No Heretic, though, which is interesting. But I think this guy will do enough damage without it anyways. Um, he also has Absorb, absorb MP. So, like, the next Moogle healing or anything like that, he'll get pretty much all of his MP back. So, that is always a good thing. Uh, as far as going to win, I don't really know, to be honest with you. We'll go to map 95, the church. Hmm. Yeah, so don't worry, DW. I did catch that note about Stall not being in the, uh... Imported for some reason, despite being flagged. I did the same thing for True Light because True Light uh, also had Stall on his mime. Oh, the monk goes for solution. Very good. For <laughs> massive damage with his Mayaton. Ouch. And a holy snipe coming up. And the Lancer's going to have to heal himself with the X Potion very quick. Quick here, two action. And Holy lands on the Monk and Earth Dragon combo for the kill. Stop on the Geomancer, which is what True Light needed so far, because that's Geomancer where the magic attack up Holy is quite deadly. And Maiton, ouch! Too late in some trouble early, although his Lancer is very fast. So, his Lancer should be able to do something. Alright, Tornado is going to go for another stall. Misses the ninja. Alright, Nemander is going to go for what looks to be a Quake. I'm trying to get rid of Refute on the innocent ninja. That is generally not a great idea. Cyclops does go off. The mine just survived it. Lance is doing everything he can to keep his team afloat. 12 speed, that does make him very fast. However, he does not have haste. Which can be a bad thing. There's a stop proc on the ninja. High, high odd. I'm guessing best compact somewhere. Uh, another holy snipe from the Geomancer. More AoE from the Scholar. Despite Magic Defend Up, the Bard still went down. Hopefully One Punch Man can get in there and hit people. But it doesn't look like he's actually going to be able to. Not at this point. Black Man does land on the Ninja. The Monk is still out of rank. His refute. Got rid of Innocent, though. That's the only thing. And down goes the Bard. Carbuncle's coming up. And more Holy Sniping. Yeah, True Light's not looking too good right now. Stall hits the ninja again. Ooh, double pound Earth Slash. Hurts the ninja, but takes out the bard and the monk, so that was totally worth it. Yeah, this Lancer won't be able to survive much of that on his own. He does take out the ninja, but... Yeah, 12 speed doesn't make you evasive. You just don't have a lot of evasion on your side. That's the only thing about 12-speed Lancers. The sacrifice and evade for, um, for turns. And even that can be used against you, too. Alright, DW takes round one. We shall see what happens in round two. 
Okay, so round two is about to begin right now as we are in map 51, uh, the St. Moran Temple, inside St. Moran Temple actually, I should call it that. Uh, True Light pretty much got pounded by the uh, barrage of AoE from the very early going. Lancer gets stopped, that's no good for True Light whatsoever. My Tom, but then auto potion. And here comes the holy snipe. Alright, wall onto the mime. Makes her a little bit more tanky. Just looked at that Cyclops. But she... She's probably got to hang back right now. Mimic Darabon puts the monk to sleep. It will give True Light maybe a bit of time, but Earth Dragon will probably just wake him up. And then just still going to go, go on the rampage. Again, this is not very good for True Light. Oh, that bar did get one shot at big time. Well, combo down, anyways. Ouch. Oh my god, second squash today. If you count the first video, of course. Oh boy, I don't see how Chula can even remotely try to come back from this. That Lancer goes down, and the bar will go down right now. Yep, that's another quick one. GG.